So something pretty huge just happened in the AI world. And, you know, for once, it didn't come from one of the usual suspects like OpenAI or Google. Nope. A tiny startup out of Singapore has just unveiled a new AI agent called HRM. And honestly, it might just be the biggest leap in machine reasoning we've seen in years. And here's why this is blowing everyone's mind. This brand new AI, it's outperforming models that are more than four times its size on really complex reasoning tasks. It's not bigger. It wasn't trained on more data. So how on earth is that even possible? I mean, let's put this into perspective. On one side, you've got the Goliaths, right? Your GPTs, your Claudes, with hundreds of millions, sometimes billions of parameters. And then on the other side, you have this little David, HRM, with just 27 million parameters. That is less than a quarter of the size of the original GPT-1 from back in the day. And yet, it's beating modern, state-of-the-art models. So you gotta ask, right? If it's not about the size, and it's not about some massive secret data set, What's the secret sauce here? Well, the answer isn't about what it knows, it's about how it's built. This is a true AI underdog story. See, HRMM isn't just another smaller version of ChatGPT. It's a totally different beast. It's an AI that's built to mimic the brain's own layered approach to making decisions. But to really get why this new architecture is such a revolution, we first have to understand the fundamental problem it was built to solve. And that's the core weakness in how today's big language models actually think. Okay, so most models you use today rely on something called chain of thought. You've definitely seen this. It's when the AI basically talks itself through a problem, right? It lays out its logic one step at a time. It looks super clever and yeah, sometimes it works great. But, and this is a huge but, it has a critical flaw. Because that chain, it is incredibly fragile. If the AI makes just one tiny mistake in that step-by-step -step process, just one broken link, the entire answer can just completely fall apart, leading to a conclusion that is totally, utterly wrong. And this quote just nails the problem. Once a model like GPT starts generating its answer, it's locked in, it's committed. It can't go back and fix an earlier mistake. It really is like trying to solve a complicated math problem by writing down one number at a time in permanent ink without ever being able to double check your work. So what does HRM do? Well, it just throws that whole fragile chain right out the window. Instead, it uses a completely different brain-inspired architecture that lets it think in loops, not in straight, unforgiving lines. It does this by splitting its thinking into two distinct parts. It's pretty genius. First, you have the high-level planner. This is like the slow, deliberate, strategic part of your brain that maps out the big picture. Then, you have the low-level worker, which is more like a fast, efficient processor that just takes orders and gets the job done. A really great way to picture this is to think of a chess master. They're planning the grand strategy, thinking moves ahead. And they have an assistant who just instantly executes the moves on the board. One strategizes, the other acts. Simple as that. And this is where the magic happens. It's all about the feedback loop. The planner comes up with a plan, the worker executes it, and reports back on how it went. Then the planner looks at those results and says, okay, let's refine that plan. This back and forth lets the model check itself, correct its own reasoning, and get smarter as it goes. Okay, so the theory sounds incredible. A self-correcting AI that thinks in loops, awesome. But, you know, does this fancy new architecture actually work in the real world? Let's check the data. So, on the ARC AGI benchmark, which is basically an IQ test for AIs, HRM scored a really impressive 40.3%. Now, that's way higher than OpenAI's model at 34.5%, and it more than doubles the score of Claude 3.7. And just remember, we're talking about a tiny model absolutely schooling some of the biggest names in the industry. All right, but what happens when you throw a really tough logic puzzle at it? Something that needs trial and error, where you have to backtrack and rethink. You know, like a super hard Sudoku puzzle. Well, HRM was tested on hard and extreme Sudoku puzzles, and it successfully solved 55% of them. For any AI, that is a pretty remarkable success rate. So what about the chain of thought models? What was their success rate? Zero. 
A big fat 0%, not a single one solved. That right there is the stark, undeniable difference between a linear process and a recursive looping one. And if that wasn't already crazy enough, get this, the efficiency is just astounding. One of the creators said, you could train HRM to solve Sudoku at a professional level in just two hours on a single GPU, two. That's not just efficient, that's practically a coffee break in the world of AI training. So what does this all mean for the bigger picture? Well, this is about way more than just impressive test scores. This points to a future for AI that's defined by how it's built, its architecture, not just by how big it is. And listen to this, Guan Wang, one of the brilliant minds behind HRM, he didn't pull any punches. He said, chain of thought prompting is just a shortcut. What we have built is something that can think. Now that is a bold claim, but based on the results we just saw, it has some serious weight. So let's break down why this is such a potential game changer. It means we could have AI that's smarter, not just bigger. We're talking about adaptive reasoning that can tackle really, really hard problems. And because it's so efficient, it could mean having powerful AI running right on your laptop, not just in the cloud. Think of the new applications in science, in medicine. It's huge. And maybe the best part, especially for all you builders and curious minds out there, the entire project is open source. So if you want to dive in, you can check it out, run the code, and even start tinkering with it yourself right now on GitHub. All of this really leaves us with one big, provocative question for the future of AI. As we keep pushing for more powerful systems, is the next great leap going to come from just building bigger and bigger models? Or is it going to come from a fundamental architectural upgrade in how these machines actually think? HRM seems to be suggesting the answer is the latter.